Sunlight is comprised of a whole different range of wavelengths of light from infrared, which causes heat, through the visible light spectrum, all the way through to ultraviolet. All of these different wavelengths can affect our skin in different ways, but in particular, ultraviolet light can cause damage to living skin cells, it can affect the genetic material of the cell nucleus, and can lead to uh, problems like premature aging and, and more serious long-term damage. UVB is the range of ultraviolet that causes visible redness and burning of the skin. Think of UVB for burning. UVA radiation is the type that penetrates more deeply into the skin and affects the living cells under the skin surface. It damages genetic material and leads to formation of skin wrinkles and deep fissures and ultimately, we believe, may increase the risk of skin cancers. SPF means sun protection factor, and it's a measure of the level of protection that the product offers against UVB radiation. Again, think UVB for burning. If unprotected in the sun, you start to, say, turn red or, or burn after 10 minutes. By using uh, sun lotion with, let's say, SPF 15, you can stay 15 times longer in the sun before the skin starts to burn. Using an SPF 30, you can stay 30 times as long. It's important to note that this only gives the level of protection against UVB. It doesn't tell you anything about the level of protection against UVA radiation, which is the sort which causes the long-term damage. It's very important to use sufficient sun lotion. The um, way that the SPF is calculated uses a measured amount of, of sun lotion on a, a predetermined area of the skin. And if you don't use that same amount in real life, you won't get the claim protection. To cover an average adult from head to toe, you need 30 millilitres, about a shot glass full of sun lotion. If you use less than that, you certainly won't get the same level of protection. For example, if you use just half of that amount, an SPF 15 sun lotion will only give you an SPF of around about four. The important thing is, is to uh, look for a symbol which will appear on, on products uh, like this. This is a, a European approved symbol which indicates that the product offers protection against UVA um, comparable to the UVB level. One of the important things to look for is a range of ingredients in the product which protect against free radicals. These are highly reactive oxygen molecules and they can attack living skin cells and living skin tissue. So you need to look for ingredients in sun lotions which have antioxidant properties. Um, things like green tea extract, rosemary extract and edelweiss extract, which we use in, in our sun lotions, that help to quench these free radicals and reduce the, the skin damage that they can cause. Prickly heat is a very common problem, um, surprisingly common in fact. It's caused by uh, sweat or perspiration being trapped under the upper layer of the skin where it causes irritation and the stinging and burning sensation that you will be familiar with. The important advice is to try and keep cool, uh, keep your level of intake uh, of liquids up, and avoid strenuous exercise in the heat of the day. If, in spite of this, you're still suffering, then look at the sun lotions you're using, and try and avoid those which contain ingredients that make them waterproof. These waterproof sun lotions that protect the skin even after swimming and bathing often contain ingredients which lock the skin, they, they act like a, an imporous layer and prevent the skin from perspiring and breathing and therefore the moisture can't get out and causes the, the problems associated with prickly heat.